With profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated, enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part two of four. Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Nasi te predavanie predlagat mnogo iziti. Volio vizite suprememastertv.com naklon na certa schedule. There are some human beings who have super, super knowledge and super, what we call, supra-intelligence, great intelligence. And even though uh, from the outside, they look exactly like us. Inwardly, they are not the same. And that's why uh, sometimes if we reach such height in intelligence, we cannot express it to the other ones who are in a lesser degree of intelligence. Please stay with us for this enlightening lecture. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Vegan, becoming a saint. Today's program will be presented in English and Spanish, with subtitles in Arabic, Aulasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian or Uranian. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat to lab test or for any reason at all. Be vegan, make peace, so be it. Saludos encantadores espectadores. Esperamos que las bendiciones de Dios abunden en sus vidas todos los días, llenándolos con esperanza y admiración. Soy Sebastián. Nosotros, los costarricenses, sentimos gratitud por ser conocidos como uno de los países más felices del mundo. Que todos los seres tengan la oportunidad de vivir en paz y satisfacción, y que todos los humanos pronto se vuelvan veganos para hacer esto una realidad para todos nuestros amigos animales. Bordeada por el Océano Pacífico y el Mar Caribe, la Pacífica Nación Centroamericana de Costa Rica fue la primera en el mundo en abolir su ejército en 1948. Los fondos militares se canalizaron para la educación y la atención médica. Hoy en día, los costarricenses tienen una tasa de alfabetización del 98%, y el país fue recientemente clasificado como el número uno en felicidad en América Latina. Entre las abundantes lluvias y la exuberante vegetación de Costa Rica, más de 1.300 especies de orquídeas muestran su delicada belleza, a la vez que abunda la vida silvestre como las personas ciervos, las personas monos y las coloridas personas aves tropicales. 
Más del 98% de la energía de Costa Rica es renovable y la cobertura forestal del país se ha incrementado al 53%, gracias a los esfuerzos persistentes por revertir la deforestación. En el 2019 Costa Rica recibió el Premio Campeones de la Tierra, el más alto honor ambiental de las Naciones Unidas. Costa Rica es también uno de los primeros países en promover el ecoturismo, que incluye visitas a áreas de belleza natural. Esto, a su vez, fomenta una mayor protección del medio ambiente, para que las generaciones futuras puedan disfrutar de la misma forma. Don't be vegan. You must know how to spell it first. Who'd want such smart effort? La maestra suprema Ching Hai, vegana, es una maestra espiritual, humanitaria y artista, famosa en todo el mundo. Ha sido invitada a dar conferencias sobre el método Quan Yin de meditación en todo el mundo. Les invitamos ahora a ver Caminar por la Senda del Amor, una introducción sobre la maestra suprema Ching Hai. We'll search high and low for a little love, for a little love to bestow on all beings in all corners of existence. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai, como afectuosamente ha llegado a ser conocida, vive un mensaje que recorre la senda del amor. Humanitaria renombrada, artista y visionaria espiritual, su amor y asistencia se ha extendido más allá de todas las fronteras culturales y raciales a personas de todo el mundo personas necesitadas y sin hogar, instituciones de investigación médica, veteranos de guerra, personas desfavorecidas, discapacitados, física y mentalmente, refugiados y víctimas de desastres naturales, etc. Nosotros somos testigos de incontables recordatorios de la compasión, la característica distintiva de esta dama solidaria y de la fundación internacional que ha nacido a partir de su amoroso ejemplo. Whatever we can share, begin with share. And then we will feel a subtle change in ourselves. More love will be pouring into our consciousness and we will be aware of something. And that is the beginning. We are here to learn to grow as well as to learn to use our power, our limitless power of love and creativity in order to make a better world wherever we happen to be incarnated. No solo son los seres humanos los bendecidos beneficiarios de su bondad, las personas animales de diferentes especies son también las receptoras de su ilimitada benevolencia. Hello, you grow so big now, you. Bon appetito. I love you. Good appetite. This is one of the reasons why we should be vegan. Love for all beings, extending love. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai, vegana, nació en Aulac Central, Vietnam. Durante sus primeros años, se la encontraba a menudo ayudando a pacientes de hospitales, a los necesitados, así como a personas animales heridas, en cualquier forma que le fuera posible. Cuando era joven, se trasladó a Europa a estudiar y continuó allí, como traductora para la Cruz Roja. Pronto descubrió que el dolor y el sufrimiento existen en todos los rincones del mundo, y su búsqueda de un remedio para esto se convirtió en el principal objetivo de su vida. En aquel tiempo ella estaba felizmente casada con un médico alemán, y aunque fue una decisión extremadamente difícil para ambos, su esposo estuvo de acuerdo en que se separaran. Ella se embarcó en lo que se convirtió en un viaje de más de dos años en busca de la comprensión espiritual. Finalmente, en los más profundos lugares del Himalaya en la India, encontró un maestro iluminado quien le impartió el método Quan Yin, un método de meditación en la luz y el sonido celestiales internos. Tras un periodo de práctica, llegó a la iluminación total.
Poco después de su regreso del Himalaya, debido a la petición sincera de los que la rodeaban, la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai compartió el método Quan Yin con otros, animándolos a mirar en su interior para encontrar su propia grandeza. Por medio del método Quan Yin de meditación, ellos también han alcanzado una mayor realización, alegría y paz. Al poco tiempo, llegaron invitaciones desde los Estados Unidos, etc. I saw that I was everywhere and in every creature. Europa. To see God is very, very simple. Asia. All religions tell you be a good person here and find heaven while you can. Australia. We are the sons and daughters of God. We are ourselves the supreme master. Africa. I will show you how to get direct teaching. Y Sudamérica. And keep the commandments and try to lead a more vegan life así como de importantes organizaciones para que la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai impartiera conferencias. The peace and love that we most often talk about and seek, we have within ourselves. You must look inside and find your own treasure and find the real lasting happiness. The future is in our hands, so you make it beautiful or you make it worse, it's up to you. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai ha desarrollado muchos talentos espontáneos que expresa por medio de pinturas y creaciones artísticas, música y poesía, joyería fina y diseño de ropa, expresando la belleza interna y externa. Los beneficios generados por sus creaciones artísticas han permitido a la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai crear una fuente independiente de financiación para actividades humanitarias para mantener su noble misión de asistir a los hijos de Dios en momentos de necesidad. Aunque ella no busca reconocimiento de ningún tipo, la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai ha sido galardonada en todo el mundo por autoridades gubernamentales y organizaciones privadas en numerosas ocasiones. Entre ellos, el Premio Mundial de la Paz, el Premio al Liderazgo Espiritual Mundial, el Premio a la Promoción de los Derechos Humanos, el Premio Humanitario Ciudadano del Mundo, Premio por el Extraordinario Servicio Público a la Humanidad, Premio Guzzi de la Paz 2006, la Distinción de Honor de la Semana Musical de Los Ángeles y Primer Puesto de Plata en los 27 Premios Tele 2006. Además, el 25 de octubre y el 22 de febrero se proclamaron como el Día de la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai en los Estados Unidos. She also brings love around the world where there is hate. She brings hope where there is despair. And she brings understanding where there is misunderstanding. She is the light of a great person, an angel of mercy. For all of us. Agradecer a la Suprema Maestra su liderazgo, agradecerle su optimismo, agradecerle ese don de gente que tiene que la hace tan única y tan especial. Fue una impresión muy grata de ver un corazón tan noble, tan dispuesto a servir. Ella está sirviendo a todos los seres humanos, está sirviendo al planeta para salvarlo, para rescatarlo. Tiene un corazón noble, pero también un gran liderazgo. Sé que van a suceder las cosas que tienen que suceder. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai es una de las personas verdaderamente dedicadas de esta era, ayudando a otros a encontrar y crear una hermosa visión de nuestro futuro. Muchas grandes personas en la historia han tenido un sueño, y como ella misma expresa, también la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai lo tiene. I dream that all the world will become peaceful. I dream that everyone becomes a Buddha. I dream that all the killing will stop. I dream that all the children will walk in peace and harmony. I dream that all the nations shake hands with each other, protect each other, and help each other. I dream that our beautiful planet will not be destroyed. It takes billions, billions, trillions of years to produce this planet. And it's so beautiful, so wonderful. I dream that it will continue, but in peace, beauty, and love.
Los Estados Unidos han sido honrados en muchas ocasiones con visitas de la maestra suprema Ching Hai, vegana. En 1989, en respuesta al anhelo sincero de los buscadores de la verdad espiritual, ella viajó al país para impartir su sabiduría y sus perspectivas. En esta fascinante conferencia, la maestra expone varios temas que incluyen las formas de distinguir a los maestros verdaderos de los falsos, alcanzar nuestro potencial interno más elevado a través del método Quan Yin y la facultad de la omnipresencia de nuestro verdadero ser. Ahora los invitamos a acompañarnos en la primera parte de esta iluminadora conferencia titulada ¿Cómo lograr tu poder interior de mayor potencial? Impartida por la maestra suprema Ching Hai, vegana, en San Francisco, California, Estados Unidos, el 24 de mayo de 1989. Of many questions before I studied the master's teachings, I read the book of changes, Yi Jing, trying to catch the flow charts of my fate. I observe the living surroundings, feng shui, the elements of water and the wind, trying to better my fortune. I prayed and made many wishes in temples. However, all the efforts were in vain. I was finally tired of those useless philosophy, obsolete doctrines and miracle stories. I wanted to have something real that I can see and I can hear myself. Last spring, Supreme Master Ching Hai helped me open my inborn enlightenment. Since then, everything around me has changed. In fact, nothing around me has changed. I changed my perspective of life. Every morning, I feel happier than yesterday. The Supreme Master Ching Hai has helped thousands of people recognize that the truth, the enlightenment, is tangible, is real, and we can use it in our daily lives. I believe that you also have lots of questions. Please get a piece of paper and write down any questions concerning your beliefs. Master will reserve some time to answer your doubts. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Supreme Master Ching Hai. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was very nice. Thank you. Finish? Yes. Oh, okay. It's your now, turn. Now it's my turn. <laughs> and I hope the ladies and gentlemen will understand my somehow broken English. <laughs> Every day for many years I spoke Chinese. And even up to the last minute. <laughs> Chinese was driving a car, Chinese food, Chinese conversation. <laughs> I was uh, in the car, I was wondering if any English will come by <laughs> when I go to the stage. <laughs> I was a little bit uh, not really nervous, afraid that my English would die somewhere. <laughs> but uh, we will try it together with your blessing. Now, every one of us has a great blessing. Uh, the blessing flows out from our sincerity. That's what we call God's blessing. God's blessing is human's blessing. God resides within us. So, with your sincerity and your devoted attention, my English probably will improve <laughs> uh, each minute. So, my very dear friends and good brothers and sisters, it is the first time that we see each other. But uh, I believe we have a lot of affinities in the past. According to uh, Buddhism and even Catholicism, we believe there is life after life. We believe there are many 
so-called cause and conditions. Whatever happens today, this is the fruit of what happened in the past. That is the law of cause and retribution, what we call karma in Sanskrit. Karma just means whatever you sow, the same you shall reap in Christian terminology. <laughs> you understand my English? Yeah, it's okay? Oh, you're very kind. Then I will get encouraged. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you, the ladies and gentlemen of a very busy society and very high standard civilization, would uh, save a little bit of your very valuable time and even come here to listen to a stranger <laughs> coming from a, a strange land. I'm so happy. It means uh, God's blessing is with us. I'm surely doing something well. <laughs> uh, all of you are probably expecting me to say something more than just a politeness. <laughs> and how are you and weather is fine. <laughs> so I will uh, get right to the point, not let you wait too long. Is that okay? Yeah. Everyone's comfortable? Yeah. You see, it's not the first time that I give some information in America, but before, it wasn't very publicized, just in New York, in a small group of people. But uh, anyhow, I was thinking, if we have some good things, then we are obliged. We have the duty to share it with our fellow beings, with our friends and brothers and sisters, whether they accept it or not. That is their full right. But uh, I have the duty to proclaim it to introduce it, and then let our brothers and sisters make the choice. Therefore, I feel bound enough to come and share with you this uh, joyous occasion, this uh, blessing uh, from heaven or from whatever the mightiest power that you might name it. In different countries, we call this power by different names. In Chinese, they call this Tao. In Sanskrit, they call it Buddha nature. In other schools, they call it Chan or Zen. In uh, Christianity, they call it God's blessing or heaven. But where is this heaven? We look in the Bible and it says, heaven is within us. It means in our heart. Um, but if we operate on our heart, would we find any heaven? No, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, we have some people have heart attack and something like that, and we open it, and see nothing inside. So there must be something else besides this physical heart. So actually, the ancient people, when they say heart, they mean our wisdom, our thinking. It's not this physical one. So how is it that the wisdom would be called heaven? Because if we have this wisdom, we feel we are in heaven. We feel so happy, so satisfied. Today, uh, while driving to San Francisco, we, we live in San Jose at the moment, at my disciple's house, and she drove me here. We were talking on the way. Uh, she was telling me that since initiation, after learning the method from me, then she was practicing not quite very diligently. <laughs> just off and on, yeah? And then I asked her, have you acquired any blessing, meaning any satisfaction? Uh, she said, yes, 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 definitely. Inside, I feel so satisfied and so joyous. But outside, there are some people who do not understand. Uh, she cannot uh, use the language to express her own inner joy. Therefore, it's kind of creating some misunderstanding, because the language is not enough, is not uh, sufficient to describe this kind of inside joy. It's a heavenly blessing, because the, the word of heaven uh, and the word of ours are different, because they're different spares. Ne? It's just like the word of animal people and the word of humans are different. Even though we are living in the same world, 
animal people and us sometimes are living in very close contact. But the animal people will not understand us very well. And we do not understand the animal people. Of course, there are some animal people who are almost like humans, like the dog, and the cat people, or the horse people. Sometimes they can feel almost like how human beings feel, and they can respond in a very humanly way. And we seem to establish that between a man and the pet person, there is some kind of a very, very close affection, no? Yeah. And we think we understand each other. Even then, there is still a big gap between a man and the animal people. Similarly, there are some human beings who have super, super knowledge and super, what we call, supra intelligence, great intelligence. And even though uh, from the outside, they look exactly like us, inwardly, they are not the same. And that's why uh, sometimes if we reach such height in intelligence, we cannot express it to the other ones who are in a lesser degree of intelligence. Is my English still clear? Yes. It's okay, yeah? <laughs> Thank you so much for your kind support. I don't know how many tens years since I use English. Since I left England, I hardly use English. Even in Germany, I would speak the German language. So since then, I think it's been about ten more years now. I'm so glad to exercise my tongue again. <laughs> I love to speak English. Yeah. I just have no chance and I was so afraid today I might not express myself very well. So now we come back again to our topic. Why is uh, there such a difference between human beings? Uh, we can see very well for ourselves. In our daily life, we meet different kinds of people. Yeah? For example, uh, the scientists, uh, they are a little bit more intelligent than the average people. We expect so. Even though from the outward appearance, they look exactly like us. You cannot tell at first glance who is the scientist and who is the physician and who is the lawyer, who is the president, for example. Of course, the president we can tell right away. <laughs> I'm sorry, I make mistake because he's too famous. Huh? <laughs> or the television is broadcast his face and we all know. But I mean, for the ordinary, intelligent man, we cannot tell right away. Is it not so? Yeah. Now, this kind of intelligence we can acquire for ourselves. Just like we learn to become a scientist, and we learn to become a doctor, or a lawyer, or some kind of uh, more specific intelligent people. For example, when we were young, we had no knowledge. We could not read no rights. And then, slowly, by learning, we knew how to do it. And then we learned many things, mm, by the way. Now, the same thing, we can acquire greater knowledge, what we call supra-wisdom, what we call wisdom. It's not a human uh, so-called intelligence, but it is cosmos wisdom. We pray for Ukraine or Ukraine. If we don't go vegan, we are hurting our planet and we really need to secure it for our future generations. Dolly Vyas, Ahuja, vegan. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws the Bali Eric Islands is one of them. Bali Eric Islands Animal Protection Law 1992. 
torturing, mistreating, or abandoning animal people in one's charge is prohibited. Violations shall be punished according to the degree of seriousness with fines of up to 2,500,000 pesetas or 15,000 euros. Very serious, repeated violations may also be subject to a jail term of up to two years. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. Vibrantes espectadores, gracias por su presencia hoy en Palabras de Sabiduría. Por favor acompáñenos de nuevo mañana en Cómo lograr tu poder interno de mayor potencial, parte 2 de 11. A continuación sigue Tejados Verdes, aprovechar la naturaleza para la vida sostenible. Que las luces y las melodías celestiales nos inspiren a hacer buenas obras y a seguir el camino espiritual, con el fin de regresar a nuestro verdadero hogar celestial. Vibrant viewers, thank you for your presence today for Words of Wisdom. Please join us again tomorrow for How to Acquire Your Inner Highest Potential Power, Part 2 of 11. Coming up next is Green Rooftops, Harnessing Nature for Sustainable Living. May the celestial lights and melodies inspire us to do good deeds and follow the spiritual path in order to return to our true heavenly home. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW 